Hey there, welcome to First Glance with Jody Vance. Glad you're with us as we continue our series on trying to open up the access to, awareness of, and take the fear away from getting into investing. Maybe you've never done it before. Have you scraped together just a few thousand dollars and you're looking for a place to put that money, get in on the ground floor, get in on a company that's growing. We are trying to shine a light on companies that are right at that special moment where investment can lead to big things. Oftentimes, those investments are only available to people in expensive suits with pocket squares. Not that there's anything wrong with expensive suits and pocket squares, but we just want to open it up to more people. And uh, today, we are shining some light on Globex Data, and the CEO of Globex is with us, Alain Guiai. Welcome. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Jody, and uh, welcome to our viewers. Happy to be here. I notice you're wearing, you're kind of flying your colors there with your outfit. In, in your honor, because our ticker is uh, Swiss, S-W-I-S with one S. And this is the international symbol of Switzerland when you do sports competition or, or you know, those kind of like sailing competition and whatnot in the Olympics. So, yes, I'm wearing our national colors because I am from Switzerland, even though I am I, I'm in Canada right now and I love Canada. If I wasn't Swiss, I'd be Canada would be my favorite country in the world. Well, you have very good taste. Thank and you. I do. I do like that you're flying the colors as well. And you're currently in Vancouver. And yet your company does have roots in Switzerland in in that. If we could explain Go Globex data to our viewer, uh, simply put, a global leader in Swiss hosted secure data management and communications, is that about positioned that, right? That's, that positions it right. And if I want to make it even more simple, you got that tagline, we bring privacy to the world. So in every sense, uh, especially in your communication, we are like a Swiss army knife of privacy and security. So whether you're an individual or a business and you use email, you use messaging, you have file shares, we, have, we offer all of that into two solutions. One of them called Secure Safe, S-E-K-U-R. It used to be called Digital Safe, but we rebranded everything last year. And then the other solution is called Secure, S-E-K-U-R. It's a combo of two of our uh, older brand, Private Talk and Custodia Email. So Secure is an email and messaging app. It's $10 a month retail US, very affordable. Everybody needs secure email and messaging. And then Secure Safe is kind of a combo between a Dropbox, a password manager, a secure file share, and an email. So typically, you would have businesses, small businesses all the way to big ones. They need that one tool where they can back up everything to the cloud. They have right. a secure file share. And what's particular about us is we got three things going that nobody else does. So first, we have our own platform. That means we don't use Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud or Microsoft Cloud. That's critical for many reasons. Uh, security one and legal is another. I'll explain that in a minute. Okay. We have our own proprietary tech. So we don't use open source coding. That means it cannot be reverse engineered so easily. In fact, it can't. And then, of course, we're based in Switzerland. The storage is in Switzerland. Switzerland has the strictest data privacy laws in the world. And that's really critical because we're all about privacy and security. So you pay us. We don't metadata mine you. We don't rent your data. We don't sell it to anyone. That's we're like big. An old Swiss bank from 50 years ago. And the thing about the legal aspect of it is that in the U.S., they passed a law in 2018, 2019 called the Cloud Act. Uh, it's like the Patriot Act for the cloud. So basically, a lot of people, a lot of businesses say, well, we need the data in Canada because we're a healthcare company or a bank or the federal, for example. Right. Yeah. If your data is running on the AWS cloud or Microsoft, if you use Office 365 or Outlook or whatever, it's useless. That privacy is gone with that cloud act. It means that that same data is duplicated in the U.S., and it can be subpoenaed without your knowledge at any time. Really? Absolutely. It's pretty scary. It's a law that came about when the U.S. was fighting with China and they had data yeah. there, data here. So at the end of the day, they figured this law. And few people know about it. Some do, some don't. 
I've seen it on an application, uh, a messaging app called uh, Trema. It's from Switzerland. I would say it's the only one I would respect. But unfortunately, they're going to publish their code, so now it's going to be all open source. But they kind of mention, hey, no cloud act and all that. So if you're if you're in Switzerland and you use Microsoft, you may have to obey by the Swiss laws. But by law, you have to also obey by the US laws. So it's not about hiding from the government, but let's say you're a business, you're a biotech, you have competitors and they throw a frivolous lawsuit, they'll subpoena your data and then they know all your secrets. And right. all. so it's, it's complex. So we offer 100% privacy. That's what's important. And there's more and more need for it. So, you know, for, for anybody that's not a technology PhD, it's like, listen, you use Gmail, you use WhatsApp. Now imagine a Swiss version of that with all that privacy right. as easy to use. So that's, that's what we offer. And for the people who say, well, I have nothing to hide. It's not about hiding. It's about your privacy being invaded and your data being sold every month and big companies making thousands a month from you. Yeah. So, off, of, off of selling your mind off data. Off of selling your mind data. I want to reiterate, Globex Data is the company. The stock symbol, the ticker is SWIS, Swiss with one S. And we're with Elen Yai, who is the CEO of Globex Data. I'm fascinated by this because, I mean, I'm old enough to have been at the front end of the information age when it comes to the data side, when it came to, and I remember learning the lesson in a difficult way that everything that you send by email or anything that you do online lives forever forever, or is like a postcard until we were using Blackberries. And, yeah. and there, there was that peer-to-peer, -peer, that pin, that direct-to-device that yeah. you still see people using Blackberries to this day, even in the, you know, the time where iPhones have taken over everything and it, it follows you around even when your tracking is off. And uh, when, when I hear about Globex data, to me, it kind of peaks that, like, I don't have anything to hide, but I do want to be aware of my privacy. I want to be aware if somebody is looking into anything about me so they can say, well, why? Why? Give me the reasons why. And then I will offer up the information that you need, exactly. as opposed to somebody just going, here's everything about Jody." Yeah. And you know, it's funny you mentioned BlackBerry. I was... I'm probably older than you, maybe, because I used the first U.S. robotics. Then it became Palm Pilot. Then right. came the Blueberry, I think, and then there was a Blackberry. So there was a pager Blackberry. So yeah. Blackberry had this thing called BBM, Blackberry Messenger. That's what you're referring to. And the people who use Blackberry today, little do they know that Samsung took over all the BlackBerry Enterprise server 10 years ago. We work with Samsung, Knox. So I know all the ins and outs of that. And BlackBerry is just a shell. I don't even think they're going to make phones anymore because they use the Android system. Mm. So it came from a security thing to now being practical. People like that, that, that keyboard. The click, 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 the click, 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 click. click, click. Yeah. And so it's not the security a, that it was? No, no. But we have something... Um, well, in our secure messenger, we don't require your phone number. So we have mm. a concept where you register with a username and a password, and you download the app to iPhone, Android, BlackBerry, I mean, anything you want. It's also web-based. And the difference is that when you give your phone number to an app, and then you have your address book, like Signal, for example. A lot of people went to Signal, yeah. more secure, private. Well, every time somebody goes to Signal, I get notified. So there's zero privacy. Like I know everybody from my address book that's on Signal. Mm -hmm. but if you use Secure Messenger, which is our product, you can't upload your address book and you're issued an SMID number. So my SM is whatever. You would unique. have one too. It's yeah. unique. It's created. And then if I want to add you, I need to have your SM number. And then I add you and you still have the option to accept or not. But what's really cool that we're coming up with, so that's BlackBerry on steroids, as one of my yeah. friends told me. Uh, it's, it's like the Swiss BlackBerry, let's just call it that. And what's happening is next month, we're launching a feature that imagine you want to talk to a patient, a client, a government partner, anything, anybody outside of your network. 
Now, today, the other person needs the app. So if you do WhatsApp or text or Signal or Telegram, now we're launching something that you can message anybody in the world. They don't need our service and they don't need to register a thing. They receive an email. It says, chat with Jody. Boom, you click. It's a live chat. And let's say you don't have secure and I do. After our conversation is finished, I terminate and it's gone. Wow. It's going to be a game changer. Where this is so huge. Pumped up and excited. You have no idea the feedback that we got. And what's really cool is that you can create groups. It's, it's just unreal because in the real estate industry, you know, Vancouver is like real estate central, like Toronto, you know, expensive homes. We know it. Mm -hmm. So you have a realtor and then maybe somebody overseas and then maybe their banker at whatever, RBC. And then you need to create a group. You need to exchange paper, or quick chats. How do you do WhatsApp? So now you have like the zillionaire that has all their data on WhatsApp. Some hacker overseas can see everything. They get into their phone. I can whip out a website and show you how to hack a WhatsApp in eight minutes. If I know your phone number, I can get into it right away. And that's what's scary. That's why we don't charge phone. We don't ask for your phone number. So we have revolutionary technology, but it's so easy. Like anybody can use it. I love this. This is, like you said, I, I believe this might be a, a game changer given how you've laid this out so brilliantly. Alain Guiai is the CEO. Globex Data is the company and the stock symbol, the ticker is Swiss with just one S, S-W-I-S. I like what you said off the top of this interview where you said, this is like the Swiss bank account of 50 years ago but for your data. That is a really simple way for anyone to understand because we are so mined. I mean, we can just say something around our phone and next thing you know, an ad is showing up on our social media for That's what it. we were just talking about. So to, to be able to really take your conversations offline to the degree of locking it down, even just for those, those moments where you need it most, like you yeah. said, when you have you know, um, sensitive materials, not anything to hide, but just, you know, you could steal my identity based on some of the things that but you wouldn't conduct business on Facebook, would you? No, no. Well, WhatsApp is Facebook. Yeah. When you think about it, would you I always say if you write something on WhatsApp or any other system that is not built by us, I'm biased because I know what we have. Yeah. If you build, if you write something, just be aware that it's public. It's so a postcard. Whenever I write on a WhatsApp, if I need to reach someone, I just sometimes I tell them, hey, check SM, a secure messenger. Sometimes yeah. not everybody has it on. And I say, hey, I'll just send you an SM. And then in a messenger, I can put the right thing. By the way, as a public company, uh, you have information that, you know, you discuss with partners, et cetera, that's not yet public. I guarantee you all the public companies should have a service like that. Um, they have... I know a lot of public companies that are a little bit careless with their communication. Um, in terms of messaging, we have kind of what we explained, but we have the same thing with email. So imagine, um, can I explain really in layman term how email works? Please. So if you have the best system in the world in your business, it doesn't matter when the email leaves your server, it's an open postcard. It's simple as that. I like to say we are the Brinks truck of email and everybody else has a bicycle. I love that. <laughs> that is perfectly put in or my mind. Totally. Or a moped. The world. That's right. One's an e-bike. Metal, you need a bombardment to get into it. Yeah. So, you know, so, somebody told me it's like message in an envelope or something. But yeah. when you, we have a system called Secure Send, which is pretty cool. So you can send, let's say you're a realtor at Remax. I use Remax because they have signed up our company for 90,000 agents. So nice. Remax agent, thank you. Um, Remax agent has a client. They need to send back and forth tax return documentation. Remax is going to send to their client. The client has Gmail. They get an email. They click on it. They see the content. The content can be as many sizes as they want. It won't clog the recipient mailbox. And then the recipient wow. is like, okay, I sign. And I upload back into the secure send, and now the client wants to reply back. The big mistake is that now they're going to use their own email, and then the right. whole 
thing is gone. Postcard. All yeah. advantage is gone. So now we can use secure reply. We have that. That's and you don't need to register. What's important, because I have bank accounts in a couple of Canadian banks, and sometimes they, they send me some encrypted message, but I need to register for the thing. I need to create a password for this one or twice. I'm like, just send me the email already. Whereas with our system, you can be as simple as click here. Yeah. Password protect. You can time extend the thing. You can even decide how many times the recipient can read it. So it can't be forwarded once they read it once and it disappears. Oh, that's so value. Really cool. So Elaine, before we're, we're getting short on time, but I got to get to this because I understand that this Wednesday you announced uh, your first distribution agreement with Australia. Yes. That's massive. That's massive because Australia is one of those countries that's being hacked, unfortunately, by foreign powers a lot. I'm sure we read about it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Australia has 25 million uh, people. It's almost as big as Canada. Very yeah. wealthy, resource-rich country. Um, it's a financial center. You've got Australia, Asia over there. Uh, we have our own office in Sydney, and we're signing up uh, a few distributors. We're pretty excited about Australia. I'm really excited about Globex data. S-W-I-S, -S, Swiss with one S is the stock symbol. Find it on your ticker. Ellen Giai. I want updates from you, if you don't mind, my friend. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting with Thank you today. You. Thanks for doing this. Thank and you. I do like the glasses. We'll, we'll go with the glasses. Thanks. Us. We didn't talk about the little shareholder. Oh, we can. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's talk about the little shareholder, the, the people who are scraping their money together and wanting to, uh, to come yeah, on so board. You ask me a question, I'll address it. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, are you just looking for big shareholders or can anybody with a smaller amount of money uh, come on board if they're getting excited about Globex? If there's no small shareholder, I always say that, you know, if you have whatever dollar you have to scrape, I would say if you believe in a long term investment, uh, we are here for you. And, you know, every shareholder is important because you have to start someplace. Yeah. You know, you don't it, it has to be democratized. So. We respect all sorts of shareholders. I go on some of the forums and talk with them. They give me amazing ideas, actually. In fact, the small shareholders actually sometimes are much more involved in a company like ours. Uh, a lot of them buy our service. And I get a lot of pleasure talking to, you know, the non-institutional shareholders. You know, everybody's important. You need the big ones. But by, no, by, by any means, I mean, don't be shy. You know, when you want to invest, you put your whatever X dollars every month and you build your nest egg. And Globex is that kind of company that's going to keep growing. I myself buy shares all the time. That's know, big. I'm a shareholder in the company. I keep buying because I believe in that long-term value that we're going to bring and eventually the dividends that the company will pay. That's a big piece of the puzzle. How do the uh, hopeful shareholders get in touch and find you? What's your website? Uh, our website is globexdatagroup.com. Um, so that's they can find you on there. They can find us. They put a they, they click. I, I get shareholders emailing me. I reply to every shareholder. Um, there you go. We have a Twitter page too, but we don't reply to the Twitter page because we're not so we have to be very careful as a public company. But our right. Twitter page is at Globex Data. But if you go, uh, corporate at globexdatagroup.com or simply go to our website, globexdatagroup.com. I reply pretty much to every shareholder. Globexdatagroup.com, stock symbol S W I S, Swiss with one S, Swiss. Swiss just Swiss like one. your shirt. Just like my what? shirt. If I may add one thing, we're yes. also trading in the US and in Frankfurt as well. So now we're truly like a global. A traded company because we are a global company. We operate out of Mexico, out of South Asia, Australia, Canada, US, and Europe. We can do a series on Globex data. You have to come back here on First Glance with Jody Vance. This is just your yeah. premiere episode. I'm looking Thank forward you. to it, Elaine. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for watching.